in September of 1964. My dad and I joined Boy Scout Troop 170 of Lincoln Park. Troop 170 was sponsored by St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. My dad served as the as a committeeman for Boy Scout Troop 170 from September of 1964 till June of 1966. In September of 1966, my dad became Scoutmaster of Boy Scout Troop 170. He served as Scoutmaster a Boy Scout Troop 170 till the summer of 1994. So, um, my dad served as Scoutmaster for almost 30 years. He served as Scoutmaster for 28 years, but he served as a scout leader because he was a committeeman for two years. He served as a scout leader of Boy Scout Troop 170 for 30 years, three decades. My father was a very good scout master. He earned the District Award of Merit, the coveted Silver Beaver, which is the single highest award in scouting that a volunteer scout leader can receive. He also received the National Eagle Scout Association Outstanding Scoutmaster Award. And he was also awarded the very, very honorable award of Scoutmaster of the Year from the Moore Sussex Council, Area Council. Dad touched the lives of hundreds and hundreds of boys. Going through the rosters, some of the scouts stayed for a month and some stayed for five, six, seven years. Some stayed on to be committeemen of Boy Scout Troop 170. And in that time period of those 28 years, it would be safe to say, possibly, that nearly 1,000 boys came through the door of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church's Thorpe Paul and joined Troop 170. As I say, some stayed for a very short time and some stayed for a long time. Dad took his role as Scoutmaster very seriously, very seriously. He taught the boys self-reliance In many ways, any, any scout who stayed in Boy Scout Troop 174, say, two years or three years, would have learned how to survive in the wilderness, how to distinguish edible plants from those plants that can harm a person. One of the hikes that my dad loved to take was the Appalachian Trail. We never hiked it from Maine to Georgia, but we would take segments of it usually um, from upstate New York 
and going through Pennsylvania, say to um, that area of Fayetteville on the Lincoln Highway between Chambersburg and Gettysburg. We would hike the Appalachian Trail for an entire week. Dad would sacrifice one of his uh, week-long vacations and take the boys on the hikes of the Appalachian Trail. When you hike the Appalachian Trail, everything you need is on your back. Your sleeping bag, your tarp for your tent, all of your food, your water, your personal supplies, um, and your cooking gear, your mess kit, as we used to call it. So, Dad would always ha tell the boys to buy a backpack with a metal frame, lightweight aluminum metal framing. And the metal framing, um, it prevented, uh, well, first of all, it gave better structure to the pack. And secondly, it, did, it, it, it protected the scout's back in the long, torturous hike of the Appalachian Trail. There's a lot of hills and mountainous and rocky areas of the Appalachian Trail. And it really is a test of endurance. Sometimes and I really don't know. It was a pretty amazing thing. Um, a lot of times we hiked the Appalachian Trail. It was Dad and uh, Mr. Floyd, our assistant scoutmaster, or Mr. Talbot. And uh, oftentimes, uh, Mayor William Dixon came along on the Appalachian Trail hikes. Uh, Mayor Dixon was our troop committee chairman for many years. Sometimes um, in the heyday of the 1960s and early 1970s, at one point, there were 60 scouts in Boy Scout Troop 170. So you can imagine having 60 scouts hiking the Appalachian Trail, and it was just my dad and one or two other scout leaders. So it was a big job keeping track. Um, we did encounter snakes. Um, at one time, um, we um, encountered a rattlesnake, and uh, one of the scouts bravely with a, uh, a knife, cut the head off of the rattlesnake. And on the surface, you may say, well, that's very cruel. But had that rattlesnake bit any of the scouts, it would have been disastrous. My dad was, he was such a good scout leader, such a, a wonderful scout master. Um, he loved scouting. He loved teaching the boys the ways of the outdoors, going on a hike and in the forest, on the trail and seeing three or four deer drinking water at a nearby babbling brook. He taught the boys uh, to differentiate the species of trees, the elm, the oak, 
the navel. I miss my dad. I miss Gaudi. I very much miss the hikes on the Appalachian Trail. There are such wonderful experiences. The Appalachian Trail has changed, sadly. Um, it breaks my heart to say it, but it's not as safe as it once was. Um, but I think it's not a statement of the Appalachian Trail, but a reflection of our modern society. I never really thanked my father for his 30 years of volunteer service of leadership of Boy Scout Troop 170, his 28 years as Scoutmaster of Boy Scout Troop 170. So in spirit, from earth to heaven, thank you, Dad, for your wonderful volunteer service for your 28 years of volunteer service as Scoutmaster of Boy Scout Troop 170. I miss you very much. <laughs>